Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Bouchon Glover, quarantine, and it's Monday. And I just wanted to do a reaction on the uh, the LeBron, uh, the LeBron, uh, Michael Jordan's last dance, the last episode. Jordan is the goat, no matter what. It shouldn't be a debate or a conversation or an argument of who the goat is, and the world knows that. It, it just there's no one else who actually could, you could compare Jordan to. You know, Jordan did not lose any finals, but Jordan, you know, lost some playoff games, but he did not lose some finals. And clearly Jordan wanted to continue to play uh, and, and wanted to um, uh, defend. He said, you know, they could have went for seven. You know, not sure if it would have happened. You know, Lakers three peated twice, lost. You know, no one was ever, ever uh, four peated before other than the Boston Celtics back back in the day. So um, but moving forward. Jordan is the GOAT. But one thing, you know, that I got from it, and uh, because when I watched it, I, I was uh, privileged to actually look at Jordan's, uh, his whole entire career. You know, we had a sus uh, subscription of uh, Sports Illustrated, so we got the magazines and all of that. I think me and my brother used to argue over the pictures to cut and put on the wall. But um, it's, he's the GOAT. But I, I watched his life from, like this seven document series, you know, for me personally, it was a timepiece because in 84, I was 13 years old and I got the whole Jordan Ensemble for Christmas. You know, the entire Jordan Ensemble. And I grew up with 66 in Vermont, which was really at that time, you know, heavy game bang, but it, it was in a little pocket. But to get to school, I had to walk through some neighborhoods. So that Monday, I had my, my Jordan outfit on, my fresh Jordans, the whole, the, 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 uh, the, the ones, the red, the white, black, and red, the, um, the Jordan sweatsuit, got it for Christmas, and I walk into school. So when I got to school, one of my classmates, you know, she's checking me out, and I'm about to say, you know, back in the day, it wasn't drip, we was fresh back then, so it was like, yeah, I'm fresh, huh, fresh to death. She says, nah, nigga, you look like a blood. I said, damn. Okay, so after school, I'm walking home and I'm seeing, you know, some cats crossing the street. And I don't even really know them, but I knew one of them. So before he crossed the street, I called him by his name. Let's just say his name Earl. It wasn't even Earl, but let's say his name Earl. Before they crossed the street trying to see who this blood is, I'm glad she said that. Hey, Earl, what's up, dog? Where you been, man? What school you go to? Bouchon? Like, yeah. Hey, nigga, you a blood? I said, nah, nigga, it's that Jordan. It's that new Jordan gear. Michael Jordan, you know, we in the hood, you know, so niggas really ain't knowing. So I started carrying the the uh, the magazine. So when they, you know, when I showed them, they like, oh, okay, they gave me a pass because I didn't wear the sweatsuit every day. But I, when I wore the shoes, I would rock the jacket with different jeans and stuff like that. But uh, Jordan is the goat. But one thing that I got from in terms of the mindset, the mindset of an athlete, and if you athletes who watch this, especially you aspiring athletes, because I'm sure the 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 elders they got it either in the midst of their career or after their career is the mindset and jordan proved it is that you have to have some form of motivation time and time when when, when he reached his greatness it, it, if you look back at it at his greatest times at times where he had to really show up and show out there was some type of motivation somebody challenged him somebody said he can't do something carl malone got the mvp um, so and so got defensive player of the year. This person talked trash to him. This person didn't understand who black Jesus was. You know, this person saying they could guard him. It was always something that motivated him. And I just want to just tell you today, man, what's your motivation? Here we have the greatest, and I'm going to say this. Here we have one of the greatest athletes of all times. And he's seeking and finding motivation. So what, what does that tell us? Now, if you looked at it any, any other way, you're in awe. If you weren't trying to get the game because, you know, part of the game, he, told, he said his father, you know, influenced his life. His father influenced his life to the point where, you know, he was challenging yet motivating. So just imagine if you had a motivating father in your life, in your house, you could have reached your greatness because a lot of us was, you know, single parent household. Mama didn't know what, what our talent was, but that was one of the ones that's uh, well for him. And then another thing that stuck out is when they talked about that, you know, Jordan, you know, he wasn't political and Jordan wasn't this and Jordan wasn't that. 
But Jordan said it himself, man, I was a basketball player from Wilmington, South Carolina. And, uh, you know, I just, about, I just want to play basketball. And then it was a situation where his mother wanted him to um, support one of the, you know, um, local elected officials, whether it's a congressman or governor. And Jordan told his mom, you know, I'm not going to talk out of pocket on somebody that I don't know. And he said it that way. He said he's not going to talk out of pocket. And if you're talking about talking out of pocket, you know, nigga, that's, that's, that's some nigga shit. You know, like your female, she might get out of pocket. You know, I have to deal with that. And then the cursing, you know, the profanity, all it did was basically let me know that Jordan is one of us, man. Jordan is a real nigga. And when I say nigga, I mean N-E-G-U-S. We're changing that to niggas, which means king, rulers, emperors, and sovereign people. Look it up. But Jordan is a real one. He didn't take no shorts. And what, what, what it showed for me is that, you know, his greatness, you know, you can't fabricate or try to be like something. You could be like Mike. They could sell you on that hope, but you got to find your greatness. And one thing uh, Jordan did say that it all starts with hope. Now, we have Michelle Obama talking about it's all about hope. If you don't have hope, okay. And then we have Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time and when it comes to sports and entertainment. Basically said it all starts with hope and you have to have some motivating factors to reach your pinnacle. And once you reach your pinnacle, you have to learn how to stay motivated and continue to play on that pinnacle. And once you're not on that pinnacle, then it's time to move on to something else. That's MJ. Now, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time. So if, if I'm going to listen to anybody, I'm going to listen to MJ, Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time. So with that being said, man, that's my reaction. Find your motivation. Stay motivated. You know, don't speak out of pocket about stuff you don't know. And, uh, hey, family first. With that being said, man, this is your boy, Bouchon Glover. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you subscribe. Better Black America TV. Be coming with the Willie Lynch docuseries. So stay tuned. With that being said, more content coming. Peace out. Have a good day. Happy Monday to you.